and we were on. Good to see everybody today. Welcome. If you're new to this channel, guys, let me introduce myself. My name is Logan. This is Timeless Personal Growth and Development Fitness, Episode 3. Today, what we're going to be talking about is high-intensity interval training. Oh. Here's someone, someone like me who goes to the gym on a regular basis, but you're also someone who's constantly busy, constantly has shit to do in their lives, constantly has other things to do. As a full-time job, and working 45 hours a week, and you're exhausted. Sometimes going to the gym for two hours now is kind of... It's not very time efficient. Especially now with everything that's going on with the global pandemic that's happening in certain gyms you're very restricted to how much time you can spend in the gym but you know there's benefits to that a lot of people don't like being able to go to the gym for 45 minutes or an hour like spending two three hours in the gym when i was young and uninformed and uneducated and naive about fitness about training about cardio is you don't need two, three hours to work out unless you're a bodybuilder. But if you're just the everyday person trying to work out, trying to stay in shape, or you want to train because your doctor said you had to, stuff like that, whatever the situation is for you in your life, and you got a busy life, you got a lot of responsibilities, your workouts will be much more beneficial for you and a lot more time efficient if you use your workouts efficiently and use 30 to 45 minutes and really that's all you goddamn need for your workouts but here's the kicker and this is the part you guys aren't gonna like that 30 45 minutes it can't be going at a low intensity on the elliptical and you know, you know, playing on your phone for a half an hour. That to really make a difference and really need to make an impact on your cardiovascular condition, on your muscular condition, to lose weight, that 30 to 45 minutes of training has got to be a really intense. You gotta push yourself as hard as you can. It doesn't have to be long. But it has to be a very, very fast burst of energy within that 30, 45 minutes. If you do that three times a week, and that's all you're going to need. As a lot of people want to train abs for, you know, train abs and do core work at the end of their workouts. And their core, it ends up being, oh, spending 20 minutes, half an hour on abs. You don't need that. The other day, I did a seven-minute ab workout. It was torturous. It was awful. Seven minutes, no breaks, nonstop. And your abs are burning at the end of that. But that's all you need is seven minutes. It's extremely time efficient. So you want to make sure that your heart rate goes up extraordinarily high during that workout. It has to be really intense. And that sweat needs to, needs to needs to come down for sure. You need to raise that heart level as high as possibly can, and then bring it back down with a proper cool down and proper stretching at the end of that. I know we all got we're busy and we all have a lot of responsibilities, and it's hard to squeeze that workout in. But you know, honestly, like half an hour, thirty minutes, guys, is not that hard, and Using interval training as well. What's what's interval training? It's going from one exercise to another to another to another and that's your entire set. So for example, if I'm doing I'm doing interval training and doing I'm doing a cycle of start with push ups. Do push ups for a minute, squats for a minute, burpees for a minute, jumping jacks for a minute. That's your interval. And then you rest for 30 seconds and go right back into do, do it again. 
and you can do it anything. You can do want to do box jumps for a full straight minute and then hold plank for a minute and then go on the rowing, sh rowing machine for a minute. But that minute has to be, at, especially you can go on the, that rowing machine, has to be as hard and as fast as you can. Like I said, you need to get your heart rate up as, f as high as you can. Because if you're going only half an hour, but you're only, you know, staying in a certain heart rate zone, if you're staying in the, say, the green zone, staying in easier heart, where you're not, you know, you're moving, you got the blood flowing, but you're not really getting anywhere. You want to increase cardiovascular endurance. You want to increase muscle endurance. It needs to be very high intensity. You're going to be... It's going to be much more beneficial for you high intensity workouts than low intensity for two hours. You're going to get a lot more out of it and it's a lot more time efficient, way more time efficient. Like, like I said, I was uneducated when I was young, so spending, you know, five hours in the gym, I thought would be beneficial for me, but now being you know, close to my mid thirties, I don't have the time or the energy or the patience to be in the gym for two and a half hours. I want to be in there for 45 minutes, do what you need to do and then get out. But those 45 minutes has got to be hard and they got to be strong. Whether you're doing, you know, interval training for 10 minutes and then doing weights for another 20 minutes, that's fine, whatever it is. But guys, you're going to be a lot, you're going to feel a lot better about yourself and it's going to be much more time efficient for your life and around your busy schedule just squeezing in 30 minutes and that's all you're going to got to do do that for three times a week make sure it's high intensity and that's it that's all you got to do and you're going to actually see a better better change the way you feel your energy and a better change to your body if it's high intensity as hard as hard as you can three times a week short bursts very short bursts and it all depends on what you're doing and what your goal is but if you're like the everyday person like me and you want to make changes to your body you just need a quick workout it needs to be quick it needs to be hard and as hard as you possibly can it's gonna be unpleasant you're not gonna feel good but that's when your growth and that's where you're gonna make changes and positive changes to your body is by being consistent by being as hard, hard as you can struggling going through that pain you need to go through that pain and it needs to be quick and that's all you need to do so try it guys try to squeeze it in 30 minutes a day interval training throw in different exercise as you want full body workouts you don't don't now what we're going through now, we don't even need to be in an actual gym. You can be in your room, in your living room, putting on YouTube and just finding a, finding a workout. Finding a workout that's benef beneficial for you. I'm going to refer to you a guy that I follow on YouTube. His name's uh, Jeff Cavalier from AthleanX.com. Fantastic fitness channel. Fantastic. has got... I think over a million subscribers at this point, and I did his like I did his seven-minute ab workout the other day. Absolutely brutal. Check it out, guys. Subscribe to his channel. If you guys want to subscribe to my channel, hit the like button. Do what you got to do. Want to watch past videos of my book reviews and the story time show. And another playlist I have: attraction tips for men, helping men with their relationships and in their dating life. And you can follow me on Twitter and on Instagram. And I'm also follow I'm also starting a Patreon's page. So it's at Timeless Personal Growth and Development. It's in the link. So I'll be posting a premium comp content when it comes to dating, when it comes to fitness, when it comes to your personal growth on my Patreon's page. page so go check it out. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And we'll see you all in the next video. Bye.